What's up, everyone? Welcome inside the Ellison Broadcast Center. I'm Tom Meshin, and this is Lacrosse Now. Professional lacrosse is on the cusp of being back. We got rosters from the PLL, plenty of NLL news, too. But we start with Major League Lacrosse, which announced on Thursday that it will play its 2020 season as an eight-day tournament, starting on July 18th, culminating with a championship game on July 26th. Here are the details. Players will report for a training camp on July 16th and 17th. All games are being played at Navy Marine Corps Stadium in Annapolis, Maryland, the home of the defending champs, Chesapeake Bayhawks. Each team will play one game against the other teams in the league, a five-game regular season from July 18th through the 24th. Then, the top four seeds advance to the semifinals on July 25th and the championship game on the 26th. This is the 20th anniversary season for Major League Lacrosse, and like every other professional sports league, had to drastically alter its plans in order to have a season this year. The league says it's been consulting with medical experts and also as a COVID safety protocol officer. Also had to sign off from Maryland's governor, Larry Hogan. The shortened tournament style regular season is just one of the many notable changes in the MLL this year. The league moved to a single entity ownership structure. Like last year, there are six teams in the league, but the Dallas franchise relocated to become the Connecticut Hammerheads, while the Atlanta franchise is now the Philadelphia Barrage. The Philly Barrage was originally a franchise from 04 to 07. They won three championships. The Barrage was involved also in the biggest trade of the offseason, sending attackman Randy Stotts and midfielder Brian Cole to the Boston Cannons in exchange for P.T. Ritchie and three draft picks. Stotts had 33 goals and 44 points in 11 games last year, while Cole was a nominee for MVP, an Offensive Player of the Year as well. If Stotts was healthy for all the season, he might have been an MVP candidate too. The Cannons also acquired attackman Bryce Wasserman from Connecticut in exchange for Will Sands. Wasserman put up 35 goals and 12 assists in 16 games for Dallas last season. As for rookies, the most high-profile player will be Michael Krause. The former Virginia star and Connecticut native was the number two overall pick by the Hammerheads. He was also the number three pick in the PLL draft. He was just the fourth player in UVA history to put up more than 100 goals and 100 assists in his career. Before the season plans were announced, he talked to LSN about his decision to join the MLL. Yeah, I kind of had the best of both worlds, having the options. Um, of both leagues, but it came down to, um, you know, the opportunity that the MLL and the Hammerheads um, awarded me was something that I couldn't pass up on. Um, and, and also, you know, being from Connecticut and essentially playing in my hometown in front of, you know, everyone that I grew up with playing for, uh, friends and family, it was just, a, you know, another reason why I couldn't pass up the opportunity for, to play with the Hammerheads. Unfortunately for him, it's a name only this year with everything being in Annapolis, but maybe in the future we'll see. As for some other notable rookies to watch for, third pick Colin Burke by New York and fourth pick defense, defensive men Nick Mellon. That's a tongue twister by Boston. Seven of the top ten picks signed to play in the MLL this season. The number one overall pick, Yale's faceoff star TD Erlen. He's going back to school for the NCAA granted extra year of eligibility.